Hey, welcome everyone. Tom here from Park Avenue Trading, your chief dealer, keeping you sane in these insane markets. And welcome. It is 7.43 a.m. on October 23rd, 2024, in the midst of a bull run in dollar yen that we predicted. Uh, if you go back, I told you that the 149.20 was a very important level. Weekly level set had to get above it, stay above it. Now we have catapulted above it and... Uh, well, that's the past, and the trader is only as good as the next trade call he makes. So what are we looking at? Right now, I'm going to give like an overall uh, view that Dolly Yen right now, the main pivot support for this thing for the next few days is 151.70. And I'll put that... Uh, I'll put a line up over there. Let's see what we can do here. 151. Let's get out of this drawing mode. 151.70 is now a very, very, very critical price. So let's go 69. That's fine. 151.69. So what is it today? Well, due to the volatility, due to the compression that we had, and then now the expansion of the wave, okay, the next target for this thing is uh, 153.90. Now, it's 100 points away, all right? So short term on the day, I think that uh, Dalian Yen uh, has to stay above, wow. I don't even have anything that, like, that anything that's, like, that's good. Let me see if I can find something at uh, the volatility level. Uh, oh, boy, 152. 152. 152.38. 152.38 is an important point for today. 152.38. And... 52.38, let me get a level here, get a ray, 152, that's close enough, 152.27, I'll move it up, 152, 152.38, 152.38, okay. All right, so this is an important level. This is basically a pivot. If it comes down here, this is um, uh, daily. Yeah, could probably come back down to the one fifty two level. Even even it would be great if it tested the one fifty one sixty. I don't really see it happening. It was like a straight bull run. I think that um, market participants are looking at the U.S. election and they're adjusting portfolios accordingly. And dollar yen is now the appetite to buy the dollar versus the yen has taking full hold again. Um, next target for this thing. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can get my trend degrees going. Hang on one second. Okay. What I'm doing here is basically I'm, I'm taking my projection. This is the whole thing is based off a of projection because I really don't have anything until that 150 four level that I was talking about. Um, I'm taking the, the projection of my, my volatility out of 151.71, and I'm adding that as a low. So I'm projecting from trend degrees that we're going to have resistance at 153.25, and then there's our level right there, 154. So that's what I'm going to go with. So first level of resistance today, we'll say is 153. 153.25. Let's go 153.30. A little skid. 153.33. That's fine. And then above this, we have that massive level 154. I don't want. I want a, a line there. I don't want a ray. 154. So Dalian is definitely, you know, bid. If you didn't get on the train before the train moved, it's a little difficult because it, it's probably going to chop around. But what, what I would think is that Dalian, we're probably going to come up to this level 
Uh, now this is a projection level, so I would think that we would market would turn back down, maybe trade back down into this area right in here, and then potentially try to get up above this bloody thing. Uh, get up above this level. It, it, there'll be some resistance up there, but it's definitely in a bullish tone. Sterling Yen is off the charts. It's it it broke just like we said it was going to break. It's opening up its way to uh, the 200 level. If you watch my other videos, go back and watch them. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. I've been talking about it. And I'm really happy that the analysis worked out. I mean, you, you think this is easy. I mean, I'm basically, you know, trading here naked, right? I'm t saying what I think is going to happen. And not that I, you know, everybody's wrong. But, um, <clears throat> you know, when you, when you, if you ever make a mistake, you know, you, you're, you, people, you know, hold it against you and they never really pat you on the back. And I'm not here for that. I'm really, I'm here to do, do the analysis as I do it for myself, for you guys. And so far, the analysis has been spot on since every day I've been posting. And that sounds like really conceited. But it's reality. I mean, it is. I'm, I'm happy about it because my analysis is good. I sometimes don't even make money off my own analysis. I have to be com completely candid. I fight myself sometimes. I miss awesome trades, you know, and I'm like, I can't believe I bought that. And then I took 60 points profit on it. And look at it. Now it's up 130 points. Um, yeah, I battle with that every day. You know, I'm going to tell you a trade call I did yesterday in the trading room. Hang on, I'll show it to you. Here's a trade call on the trade call. It went short sterling in 195. Here's a trade call on the trade call. Here's a trade call in the trading room. Went short, 195.75, stop loss, 196.05. One third off at 195.14, stop loss, 195.35. I, I did a trend degree, and I saw that there could be a potential reversal up at that level. So I squared my position at 36 and went long at 195.36. Stop now. The, it started to move in my favor. Uh, I took one third off at 195.75, put stop loss entry. Market just kept going. I have two thirds of my position on right now. At stop loss at 195.10. That 197.10. That is a damn good trade. I'm very happy with that trade. All right, so let's move on to our next um, currency, sterling dollar. All right, to 129.40 level held. That's an important support point. We've been talking about it. I actually thought it was going to take a dump yesterday, so I was kind of wrong yesterday, but it, it has not moved out of the range. <clears throat> right now, Sterling dollar has got to get, like we were talking about yesterday, it's got to at least get over this 130, like 30 level to shake off any type of weakness. As dollar yen keeps rallying, and it looks like they're doing sterling yen through dollar yen. So they're buying dollar yen, and they're basically leaving sterling alone or slightly pushing it down. So therefore, the, the cross is going higher through the legs of the cross. That 129.40 level's got a hold in sterling dollar. If it doesn't, we're going down to 129. The figure, there's a level down at 128.50. So let's go. Like, let's do this. 129. The fig. 129. The fig. Okay. And then there's a level at 128 and a half. 128. Say right there. That's fine. Now those are your support levels. If 128 and a half goes because dollar yen is roaring, and I think what's going to happen is sterling sterling dollar is kind of clunky, and what I mean by clunky is that does it? It's not really it's not really the 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 main currency they're trading. They're trading dollar yen, and um, they're buying dollar yen, <clears throat> and they're using it as a vehicle for the sterling yen cross. So sterling dollar basically. Moves down a little bit, then kind of creeps back up, but it doesn't have any type of, um, nobody's really interested in it, is what I'm trying to say. They're, they're more interested in dollar yen. In order for sterling yen to get interesting again, where you could see that the big boys are starting to buy it, we got to get over that 130, say 50 level. Then we have to do new analysis. Then we have that massive 13105 that we've been talking about forever. So, just keep that in mind. Right now, sterling dollar is kind of neutral, not really, not really much interest in it. 
And I would look, if you're going to trade Sterling, trade it through Sterling Yen. You know, so uh, getting long, um, if you like Sterling, then you got to get long Sterling Yen. And you try to buy it on a dip. Now, Sterling Yen is the next one up. That This one is a monster trade, you know, as, as we were just talking about. <clears throat> we had that 196.97 target that we just blew through. We're at 198.23. Uh, so let me get some numbers. I have some numbers for here. Hang on. So Sterling Yen should find support on a day at 197.40. Okay. That's good enough. 197.38. That it should find support right here in this area. Um, this is kind of like the medium, the, the the pivot on the day. If it breaks this, um, we're, we're probably heading back down towards this 197. 197, the figure level, maybe 197, uh, 196, uh, 85 level. We got 196, 97, so 197, the figure. Then we got probably like right around 196, uh, 85. Uh, it needs now, it basically is up. It's it's heading towards the 200. I have nothing in between. So hang on. Um Wow. Uh, <clears throat> if it can hold this, basically it, it's moving towards 199.35. That's the next level. And I'm sorry, I, I, that's all I got. 199.35. Let me put that up there. Up here. 199. 199. 40, that's fine. That's close. So basically, I'm saying support on the days right here, 197, say 50, 197.45 ish. A good support at 197, the figure. And uh, then we have a lower level at 196.85 ish. If it breaks that for some reason, there's a change, then it's going back down to 196. But I don't see that happening today. I think sterling yen is still bid. Um, it, it, it should have a, it would be nice if it had a healthy retracement, you know, back, say back down to this level of 197, say 40, 197, 28. And then that would be nice because that would gather st strength to take off the current top at 198. Um, what's the current top? 198, 40 ish. 198, 34. That would be, that would be good. If it, it would be good to have a, a nice retrace back down so that it could shake the people out that aren't in the know. And then once it turns, it turns. But ultimately, the, the ultimate support of this thing, hang on, one, I'll give you that, like the main point, the, the big point off of this leg, like that just started from here up. I'll give you that point in a second. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, we have we're going to have a short-term resistance at 16505. 16505. Shut this thing off. 165 09, close enough. 165, 05, 165, 09, something like that. Okay. What does it need to stay above? Right now, it needs to stay above 164, 18. 164.18. 164.15. So these are our two points for today. We should have some resistance up here. This is like the main kind of. Pivot point, if it breaks 164.18, you could expect it to go down to like 163.80. It's kind of very similar to Sterling Yen. We could expect it to go to like 163, say 75.80, like that. Uh, if it breaks that, then it's heading back down towards that main 
support now, which is now right here, 163. We've been talking about it for a long time, saying it's got to get above that to show strength. It did, and it exploded nicely 175 points higher. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think about them. Um, please, if you like what you see, share the videos far and wide. Want to build a big trading community. Um, also, head over to Park Avenue Trading and get yourself a free ebook. And remember, always enjoy the party, but dance in the door. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.